What makes Warframe so good? That's a question that you don't really have to ask yourself because there's a lot of standout reasons that makes Warframe such a great game. A lot of things that this game has that a lot of other games lack that we might take for granted in some respects. Take for example the amount of customizability that you have or the large variety of weapons in the game. That's just something that, that a lot of other games struggle to actually produce because they are limited with the amount of, I want to say, time constraints that they have when it comes to development because they're published by bigger names such as Activision or EA, meaning that they have a time constraint on how much they can sort of produce, how much time they have to develop the game, where Warframe is a gradually always developing game, so they can always take their time to put as much time and effort as they want into a particular update or into the game at hand. That's because Digital Extremes self-publish, which was a very big decision as far as I'm aware when it actually came to releasing Warframe. They could either have passed the publishing off to a larger company like Activision or EA and let them take a little piece of the revenue that came in from the game, or they could publish themselves and you know be completely reliable for the success or failure of the game. Um, Warframe is very interesting in that respect because we get a lot from the game just because of that one decision which a lot of people take for granted. You take for example um, Mass Effect Andromeda, it was just released a few days ago and it has five multiplayer maps. I, I don't know how many guns or how many characters are hidden away within the game because there's no way to actually view that. But it has five multiplayer maps and I want to say limited replayability in terms of the multiplayer. If you guys know me, I play games for their gameplay, not so much the story or the things that go on behind the scenes of the game, but it's more because of the, the gameplay, right? Just how fluid it is, how much things I have to do, how much I can customize. And coming from Warframe and going into Mass Effect, it made me, I guess, uh, respect or value everything that we have in Warframe a lot more. Because realistically, any time I play a new game now, I'm comparing it to Warframe, even though I might not notice it. There's a lot of things within Warframe that, like I said at the beginning of this video, we take for granted because a lot of other games don't have it. And because this free-to-play, uh, self-published video game has it, I, I, I just look at this as this is the standard now. This is what has to be in my video games for them to compare, for them to even come close. Mass Effect Andromeda lacks a lot of these aspects, right? So it lacks character customization. You have a very limited amount of it. You have to actually get what is known as a pattern in that game to even really have, I want to say, more than two slots of customization on any single character. You have to basically grind for hours to get anywhere near, well, not even hours. It's kind of just RNG in that regard. You have to basically farm up a, a certain amount of credits, buy a pack, and then hope that you get lucky to get a new weapon. So what happens is they don't display the amount of weapons in the game, leaving you always guessing and sort of giving you a false sense of, okay, if I keep playing, I'm going to keep on getting more weapons, where in Warframe, you're able to display all this stuff. And the reason that I'm even making this video is because, you know, it made me think, because I was going to Mass Effect Andromeda, yeah, sure, the gameplay was nice. I, I would dare go as far as to say the gameplay, I enjoyed the gameplay of that game a lot more than I do of Warframes, because... Warframe's gameplay compared to that is a little bit lacking in Mass Effect. It needs a little bit more skill. You actually have to run around and not just press like a single button to basically make all the enemies useless. But you have to run around, aim for the weak points and manage your, your cooldowns and all that stuff efficiently in order to survive. But just because it has that awesome gameplay doesn't necessarily make the game great. I'm not saying that, you know, either game is better in that regard, but what I'm trying to say here is because Warframe has all this stuff and that game doesn't have any of that stuff, then I kind of feel like Mass Effect has came up on sort of, sort of the short side, especially in the side of content, because, you know, Warframe, when you take a step back, has a lot of content, even though it, not might, it might not be playable content in quotation marks it's you know just a add-on content which makes the game feel a lot more beefy and a lot more sort of personal to you and allows you to sort of invest more time in it like spend a lot more time in your ship customizing your character making yourself unique making yourself stand out same with a modding system in the game you know it's a lot more unique in the regards that you can choose um on what area 
your Warframe gets stronger, right? Where in Mass Effect, you have a limited amount of trees that you can go down. And of course, you can make the same argument for Warframe where, okay, well, if you don't mod in this certain way, you're modding that Warframe wrong. Some people might, you know, go as far to say that, myself included, sometimes whenever it comes to specific frames, like Nova, for example, where you have to hit that 145% power strength cap for her last ability to be used to the fullest extent. Um, Warframe's more flexible in that regard and it's, it's that's again is something awesome in its own respect because it's a lot of things that people take for granted like that just sort of that variety that it has really so that is basically it you know it's just comparing the AAA games and those games that are published by the bigger companies comparing them to this game which is a self-published game has no real time constraints or anything and has a lot more content in it even though like i said it might not be playable content it still just has a lot more stuff in that regards and i feel like triple a games should sort of look at this game warframe definitely as a standard maybe not copying the design of the game but saying okay well this game cramps all of this content into this very I want to say almost cramped space because look you have your finder over here this is your crafting you have all your modding section which is a big amount of personalization you have your arsenal where you can do all of your customization for your cosmetics you have a pet you can go up here you can customize the interior of your ship you can look at all these different weapons in the in the market over here there's just so much to kind of come in here and look at and it's amazing that the developers were able to cram all of that into this very small space where you see big developers like Bioware being uh, having their games published by EA, which basically have a very bare bones sort of um, menu system, which doesn't show you a lot and just makes you feel like you're always kind of chasing a cart at the end of the stick, right? Even though they focus on gameplay, and gameplay was realistically their main priority whenever it came to Mass Effect Andromeda and creating that game and making it feel and play super awesome, that doesn't make it the best decision. Yes, it got a new player on board. Like, I never played a Mass Effect game prior to Mass Effect Andromeda. And maybe it's the last Mass Effect game in the series. Who knows? I haven't completed the story yet. But, you know, it's it still got me on board because they focused on the gameplay. But it isn't enough to keep me around playing for a long period of time like Warframe. Warframe has kept, kept my attention for about three and a half years now. Which is pretty insane when you think about that because of the amount of stuff that they throw into this game. Because they've nailed the gameplay, they've nailed the personalization, they've nailed the customization. I just think that they have to sort of um, keep up with or maybe push out a little bit more content more frequent frequently. And then that will, you know, kind of just make this game a lot better. And more, I don't want to say just content as in weapons or something. But more content for the player to jump in and play, like, you know, uh, a way of defense where you actually get something meaningful at the end. Not in the form of events, but just something which is built into the game, which is pretty awesome and cool. I think that would, you know, kind of brighten this game back and bring it up to my most played sort of game list again. Um, but that's really all I wanted to talk about. It just got me thinking, comparing Warframe to Mass Effect Andromeda, how bare bones Andromeda felt. And... I game developers, AAA game developers, and the other publishers to really look at Warframe as the bare minimum. Like, this should be the standard now, because Warframe has crammed all of this in. Be it in the space of three years, it had a lot of this, you know, personalization and modding system stuff in at launch. So, you know, there's no reason for games or game developers to skip out on all the stuff that Warframe has included in it, because realistically... I feel like everything that Warframe has and everything that Warframe excels at is what sells a video game to a lot of players because this is just something interesting. Tell me if you would buy Warframe. If you had the opportunity or you were faced with the decision, would you have bought Warframe if you if it wasn't free to play? Would you have bought it? And if you bought it, do you think you would have got your money's worth? Say it was £40, which is the equivalent of like, what, $55, $60? So yeah, just... Tell me that, tell me what you think of that question, or tell me the answer to that question in the comment section, and just start a discussion, really. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.